measure the size of the shapes. So, that is the third we are going to do. Measure the size of the given shapes. Okay, measure the sides of the given shapes. Can I have I have some shape for you? And you are going to measure those shapes. Alright. Now. I have got for you. Shapes. To measure. Then I have another shape for you. And then we have two shapes now. We have one more shape to measure. All right. A square, we have a rectangle, and here we have a triangle to measure the sides. Okay, now we have three shapes here. Measure the sides of the given shapes. Okay. Now, <coughs> first of all, we will write for the side. Here you have A, the four corners you name, B, and you measure that. Point. So, you got the line segment A, B. Now, you write this point as C and D. And you have another line segment. Then you join the line segment A to C and B to D. So now we have four line segments in this square. What is the shape? In this square, there are four line segments meeting at four points. So this is a square. Now we are going to measure the line segment, measure the sides of the given shape. Now, A, B, we are going to measure A, B and we are going to find out how many centimeters are there. So, put, take your ruler, put the zero on point A and check out this 13, it is 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters. Then you measure C and D. C, D line segment. Let us measure C, D line segment in the square. Again, that is 14 centimeters. Then you measure B, B, D. B, D. You measure B, D. You put the 0 on B and you see it is 14 centimeters. And finally, measure A, C. A, C. The line segment A, C. Put 
0 on A and it is 14 centimeters. That means what? All the sides of a square are equal. Okay. So, what did we see here? All the sides of a square are equal. Okay. We measured all the sides. of a square are equal. Good. Next we go to a, what do we have here? Rectangle. What is this? We have a rectangle. Now let's look at the rectangle. We are going to measure each of those sides. Here you have a square here you have a rectangle. Now we go to name the four sides of the rectangle. The first point you have here, you put, put it as P, next point, Q, this point, R and this point as S. Now we are going to measure the sides of the rectangle. Let's look at the point. P Q, P Q. We are going to measure the line segment P Q in the rectangle. Take your ruler, put the zero on the point P, and then you look at Q. It is twenty-two, twenty-two centimeters. All right. Now, let's measure RS. We are going to measure RS. Line segment RS. We put the ruler, the 0 in, on R and then we look at the S and we find it's 22 centimeters. Write down. Now, we are going to measure the line segment PR, you are going to measure PR, the line segment PR. Put the zero on the point P and then you look at, it is 9 centimeters. It is 10, 10 centimeters. And now we are going to measure the line segment QS. Put the rulers zeros on the Q and then look at the point S. It is 10 centimeters. Now what do we see here? What do we learn from here? The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. What is it? The opposite side. So, here what we see is the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. That's what we saw now. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Now finally we go to, we come to we have a triangle here. We've been given a triangle. Let us measure the sides of the triangle. Okay. Now, first of all, we got to, before measuring, put the point. Okay. Now, E, the first point, we'll write it as E, another point, F, another point, G. Now we're going to measure 
the line segment EF. Okay, first we'll measure the line segment EF and let's see how many centimeters. You'll take your ruler, put the zero on the point E and then you look at the point F. It is 20 centimeters. It is 20 centimeters. Now we'll measure EG line segment EG how many centimeters we look at. Take the ruler, put the zero and the point E and then you look at it is 21 centimeters. Okay. Now we will measure the line segment F G. Let's measure the line segment F G. Take your ruler, put the zero on point F and look at G. It is 19 centimeters. 19 centimeters. Today we learned to measure the sides of the given square and we found the square, all sides of a square are equal. Whether it is AB or BD or CD or all sides, 14 centimeters. So we learn all sides of a square are equal. Now we are given a rectangle and we measured PQ is 22. We measured the line segment RS and it's 22 centimeters. We measured the line segment PR that is 10 centimeters. And the line segment Q, QS, 10 centimeters. And we concluded the opposite sides of a rectangle, the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Are equal. In the square, all sides of a square all sides of a square are equal. Then we come to the triangle. Okay. Every line segment is different. The, we measured EF that is 20 centimeters. We measured EG the line segment is 21 centimeters. We measured line segment FG that is 19 centimeters. We learned today measuring the line segment and measuring the sides of the given shape, we also learn to draw line segments with the given measurement.